Men's water weight 77.1 kilograms, 170 pounds. Eric Mambo Gihogi from Norway ready, in the blue ready. corner. His opponent, Aaron McEnroe from Ireland in the red. <laughs> Eric, noticeably the taller and longer fighter. He wants to utilize his reach in this fight here. But on the flip side, Adam did a good job of controlling the distance here. Really taking away the reach advantage by working really, really close, looking for the single leg here. Adam from Ireland with a double underhooks. Good to step on the inside of the hip or indeed the outside of the hip. Great pummeling from Eric. Doing the correct thing here to pummel the arms on the inside of his opponents. Got the back position, uh, the outside position here. Nice knee from Eric. Eric going to drop down now for a takedown of his own. Looking for the double leg. Might have to pull his opponent away from the cage here. He's got to clear that right arm of the underhook from his opponent. Beautiful work, outside trip from Eric. Got the back of the head, right now back. Got the head. One butterfly hook. Yeah, did a good job of utilizing the forehead pressure here. He's trying to look to get his forehead underneath the chin of his opponent. Accidental eye poke there. From Eric. Good sportsmanship as well, Eric, immediately stopping to allow Adam to just regain any sort of compromised vision. He has not anything but Adam. Elbows just a little bit short of the hips, however. With the elbow on the inside of the hips close to your body to enable the leverage to finish the armbar. But Eric from Norway now in the top position. He could look to pass around to his left side. Adam sensing that and immediately establishing the half guard. He serves to present, uh, prevent, excuse me, your opponent from passing your legs essentially into a more dominant position. Side controls the mounts. So we see the half guard being implored. And you notice as well when an athlete is inside control, they immediately get hit more. There's more submission attempts. The second they put their opponent into half guard, you can almost certainly see your opponent minimize the damage, minimize the submission attempts. It's a real viable option in a mixed martial arts fight to establish half guard and work back to the full guard. Time, time. And a technical first round from Norway and Ireland. Thank you. 
Round two. Eric in the blue. And Adam in the red. And Adam already touching the chin of his opponent. Looking to follow in here. And we've seen Eric on the outside now do a great job of dropping down for the legs. He's got a really good wrestling game up against the cage. So Adam's going to have to be aware of that. Use the wizard to hike his opponent up. Work the double on the hooks. You can see here, he's following the left arm in, but that's not enough because Eric's going to get the takedown into the top position. But this is better from Adam to establish the full guard, to almost accept the fact that he's going to get taken down in that instance and not try and fight it and give up the half guard or more dominant position to his opponent. He goes straight for the full guard here. Now his ability to control the posture and the strikes massively increases. Also, submissions off of his back as well. There's more viable submissions from the guard off your back. Try and get a tempt here from Adam. Back by Immediately reversing out of that position, looking to pass now. Half guard's open, so he can try and look to get that left leg out and find himself in side control. Eric with a nice stand up, utilizing the unhook there to get back to his feet. Great knee to the body return from Adam. Nice takedown again from Eric. His ability just to dictate the takedowns here has really been the key to his success so far in this fight. And he's got just over a minute to work in round two. He's got to stay busy here. He's got to go to the body, he's got to go to the head. And then when he senses his opponent's underhook, as we can see here from the camera angle, he's got to try and pummel his right arm underneath the left arm of Adam. The whole time that Adam has an underhook, he has the ability to stand up, he has the ability to sweep. He's just got more control utilizing the underhook. So he might look to spring to his feet. <laughs> and a fist attempt here from Adam. It's good to damage off of his back, but ultimately he, to get, he needs to get off of his back. He needs to be in the top position. Or we'll try and get back to his feet. Using the Kimura trap here. Nice underhook from Adam. Back to the full guard. Again, a methodical approach from the Irish fighter, using like utilizing the unhook to obtain a better position. But it was again Eric that did a great job of dominating from the top. Nice teep there from Adam. That's what sent Eric crashing down to the mat. There was the takedown from Eric again, did a good job of clasping the hands together, pulling his opponent away from the cage. Here was the break here, you see the knee straight to the midsection of the Irish fighter. He returned the little one there, but didn't seem like it had as much power as his counterpart from Norway. Going into this third round now, you've got to ask who's got the better cardio, who's able to keep that pace up. I think that's going to be the difference in this third round. Ready, ready, final round. Third and final round here, three minutes on the clock. Adam already looking to implement the takedown. The Irish fight now has to stuff the head here. It's actually looking for a guillotine. He might give up the bottom position. 
Again, Thompson control over the body, ideally two legs to finish that guillotine. It's viable to finish it without two legs around the body, of course, but especially when you've got someone like Eric on top of you, he's so good at that top position. He's very aware of where his base is, he's very aware of how to keep you connected to that map. Nice body shot from there. Place is slow, there was a slightly here. If we are looking on, might potentially get a stand up here. Back to the full guard for Adam. Adam having a bit of difficulty with a top game from Eric. Eric just able to be more dominant. Brief triangle threat from Adam, but Eric very aware of that, reverses out of the position. Adam needs to use his opportunity to get to his feet, to use those kicks on the hips and spring back to his feet. From what we've seen from Eric, it's going to be very difficult to sweep him, particularly because he's got a great base from the top position. Very aware of submissions as well. Thirty seconds left on the clock in round three. And Eric now will move to the mound. This is going to be a problem for Adam because Eric's such a heavy fighter. He's very aware of where he is in space when he's on top of you. It's going to be very difficult to shake him off here, but Adam can start to think about bucking him off of his back. Gives out the flatten here though, he might turn into the mount. Coach calling for Eric to plant his hand on the head and target with the punches. And an excellent display of grappling for MMA from Norway. As we look at the, re the replay here, Adam just looking for the stand up, he had the right idea. Eric just sensing when to engage and when to dominate. Here was the flatten out here, and that prompted Adam to turn into his opponent and give up the mount in favor of being flattened out with your opponent on your back. We go to a judge's decision.